Now this week, our parent company Scripps is shedding a light on the importance of news literacy. I got a chance to speak to several experts about knowing the facts when it comes to delivering the news that's fair and balanced. Misinformation is so uh, constant in this day and age that uh, it's often hard to tell where the truth is coming from. When it comes to containing misinformation, news literacy is top priority. And tonight, Florida's role in that siege is becoming disturbingly clear. Many of them are going home without their relatives. Accountability for those accurate officers. News literacy is the ability to determine the credibility of news and other information, to recognize the standards of fact-based journalism, and to know what to trust, share, and act on. Dr. Maurice Johnson is a journalism professor at Florida A&M University. He teaches his students the importance of analyzing all of the facts. And what we would do is analyze the language that's being used because we understand that the language is geared towards a particular constituency. The Pointer Institute is one of his fact-checking sources. Uh, sourcing is very important. So when you're comparing what different news outlets have to say, you have a better understanding of not only what's being reported, but how it's being reported, why it's being reported, and who is the preferred audience. But with social media platforms like Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram, spotting misinformation isn't always as easy as it may seem. It, it is up to journalists to um, uphold the facts and to be transparent and to uh, behave ethically and report ethically and report the news as it is. Alex Mahadevan, MediaWise director with the Pointer Institute, teaches journalists and high school students to ask the three W's. One, who's behind the information? Two, what's the evidence? And three, what are other sources saying? In other words, triple check your information, especially before sharing. A rule ABC 27 anchor and managing editor Channing Frampton knows all too well. Knowing what your sources are, um, realizing that not everybody out there is telling the truth, and doing your homework, getting to the bottom of where is this information coming from. Eugene Kiley with factchecking.org says news literacy is not only necessary, but it's crucial to society. There are consequences to misinformation. Uh, it undermines democracy, it undermines critical institutions, including those that protect our public health. While ethical journalists strive to create a better informed world. It really comes down to you and your ability to separate fact from fiction. You see, when it comes to news literacy, it's still about creating a better informed world. And ultimately, that decision is left up to you. Reporting for ABC 27, I'm Jasmine Monroe.